Hello kids, welcome to Maths class. Today we are going to learn about HCF and prime factorization. Let's start with HCF, the largest or greatest factor common to any two or more given natural number is termed as SCF of a given numbers. It is also known as GCD, greatest common divisor. Now, let us see some example. Find the HCF of 24 and 32. Factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. Factors of 32 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and 32. So the common factors of 24 and 32 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. Therefore, HCF of 24 and 32 is 8. Now see one more example. HCF of 16, 20 and 28. Factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. Factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. Factors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28. So, the common factors of 16, 20 and 28 are 1, 2 and 4. Therefore, the HCF of 16, 20 and 28 is 4. Let us see prime factorization. The method of expressing a given number as a product of only prime factor is called prime factorization. There are two methods of prime factorization. First one is division method and second one is factor tree method. Now, let us know about division method. Step first, divide the given number by the smallest prime number that divides it completely without leaving a remainder. Step two, divide the quotient again by prime number that divides it completely without leaving a remainder and continue the process until the quotient is 1. Let us see some example. Use division method to find the prime factors of the following numbers. Number is 64. First, we will divide the given number by the smallest prime number that is 2. Divide it completely without leaving a remainder. Then we get 32. Again, we divide the number with the smallest prime number which is 2. Then we get 16. We will repeat this process again and again until we get the quotient 1. Here, the prime factor of 64 is equals to 
टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू नाउ लेट सी अनदर एग्जाम्पल नंबर इज सेवेंटी टू फर्स्ट वी विल डिवाइड द गिवेन नंबर बाय द स्मॉलेस्ट प्राइम नंबर दैट इज टू divide it completely without leaving a remainder we get 36 again we divide it with the smallest prime number which is 2 we get 18 again we divide it with 2 we get 9 now when we divide it with 2 we get some remainder so we will take another prime number which is 3 when we divide it with 3 we get 3 we will repeat this process until the quotient is 1 here the prime factor of 72 are 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 Let's see factor tree method. A special diagram is used to represent a number by writing the pair of its factors which when multiplied together to give that number. First step is we start by writing the number and then writing it as the product of two factors step 2 we write the factors below the number and connect them to the number with a small line segment like a branch of tree step 3 if a factor is prime we circle it like a bird on tree and do not factor that branch any further now let's see one example use the factor tree method to find the prime factors of the following numbers number is 24 the two number that we take one of them is the smallest prime number by which 24 is divisible and the other is a number which when multiply by b the smallest prime gives 24 that is 12 now again we will repeat the process one of the prime number is 2 and the other is a number which when multiply by 2 gives 12 so that number is 6 now again we will repeat the process and we get the number 2 and 3 now if we divide 3 then we get two number that is 3 and 1 so now the process is complete so 24 can be expressed as the product of its prime factor that is 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 3 now by this process which we have learned solve this assignment hope you are able to understand hcf and prime factorization better